Hey YouTube, so we're back again for our fourth Unity tutorial, getting through it. And if you've been following, we have made our terrain, our floor, a wall, a character, and a guy, currently known as Destro. So, um, yeah, so in this tutorial, we are going to make our character shoot, I don't know, like a fireball or something. Um, this is relatively simple. Um, it does involve some coding, so this tutorial could be quite long, so I haven't covered or ever did the tutorial on coding, but yeah, so. Um, to start, we have a character, like so, and what we need to do is create a spawn point. So in the code we're going to say, make our bullet appear at this spawn point, so we always know where to fire from. So, um, yeah, so go to our character's left view so we can see it, because I assume the front view is this way, so that way, and create game object, create other, and another sphere, like so, and what we'll do is grab the scale tool and drag it down, like so, so it doesn't have to be super small. And then just drag it somewhere near the character, like, yeah, so that's his arm, boom. Uh, get rid of the sphere collider, because if we spawn the sphere right on it, our bullet's obviously going to have a collider, so it can blow things up, but we don't want our but spawn point to have it, else they'll just bang off each other and the bullet will go flying back at us or something. So just click the little cog icon and click remove icon on the sphere collider. If you zoom in it no longer has green lines like I showed you in the first tutorial. And you don't need to worry about the texture or anything because we're going to make it invisible soon. But yeah, so make sure it's near, near the character where you want it to be. Don't obviously have it like touching the character or anything because then it'll bounce off your character. But if you Imagine the size of what you want for your bullet. I'm going to basically have my like a big sub-zero ice ball or something like that. So like there, I'm going to have mine a big sphere like that. And then just position it where you want it because it's going to spawn there. So yeah. Um, now go to that sphere. So if you click and hold or F2 obviously. And rename it to bullet spawn point like so and that's basically where our bullet's going to spawn from um, yeah so we'll drag that on the character so it it's a child so it doesn't doesn't just stay there and if we obviously play the game now you sh can see the thing through the head spawn point through the head and it moves same as us so yay so now, um, also, in the next tutorial, I'm going to definitely fix that character because, as you can see, there is no rotation to our character. All he can do is jump and turn sideways, uh, walk sideways, like, across and stuff. It should be rotating properly, that's a game. So we'll fix that next tutorial, but this tutorial, let's go back to the bullet, yeah. So, now we want to create our bullet, so if we just duplicate this sphere... Right click, duplicate, and call it, oh, nearly pressed F2 again, hold it, let go, and we'll call this one, well, I'll call this one for mine, fireball, because this can be the fireball, boom, we'll, um, yeah, so, um, move it out so you can actually see it, obviously, it doesn't matter where you put it, you can put it millions of miles away in Unity, and it'll still spawn here, so, yeah, and we'll just scale it up, and, bit bigger yeah you can always check it against it to see if it's the right size yeah so um, zoom into it a bit and we'll add a texture so click the pin head and the inspector and ooh, flame D or E which one ooh, I want D that'll do so you can see we have a fireball as you can see, though, the most of the transparency is at the back, so we're obviously going to turn it in the Y view so it faces the right way. So the transparency is at the back, so it looks like it's just thrusts it out or something. 
Um, yeah, so there's our basic fireball. It's not brilliant, but it'll do for now. Um, yeah, so if we on the bullet spawn, not the spawn point, the fireball, we do want to collide. So go to component physics sphere collider, like so. So we have a collision. So it will bounce. And what um, I don't know if we've done this one yet. Um, yeah, we did all the characters. So you want to add a rigid body. So component physics and rigid body rigid body basically gives it mass and everything so do we want to use gravity well no uh, a fireball goes straight across the screen it doesn't bounce but if you're doing something like a gun bullet or something you could set the gravity to really low so it bounces and stuff um so yeah once that's done go to your project and create a new folder call call it prefabs or prefab yeah a prefab is basically a folder where you can put like I don't know using things off my desk my phone in there and you can you can drag it out and copy this phone as many times as you like and you can change each one of them and it will never change this prefab it's basically the default where it is so in that prefab folder create and prefab again and we'll call this our fireball you can call it the same, it doesn't really matter. And then just drag the fireball from the character into the fireball from the prefabs. As you can see, the box is lit up blue, whereas it was white before. And we can just drag that on and have as many fireballs as we like and be happy, happy, happy. But yeah, so that's not done yet. So the fireball, you can either delete it out the scene, but it's still in the prefab, so we can just drag it back in. Like so yeah so click your bullet spawn point and untick mesh renderer the mesh renderer basically renders what the mesh looks like the mesh is at the actual model of it so untick that it's still there we can still call from it but it's invisible so now we'll go to scripts and create create a new javascript and call it um fire player fire yeah player underscore fire and um, yeah so now open that up again and here we are so don't forget if you're in mono develop this will be the exact same but yeah um, in the update function here what we want to do is call right um, let me think yeah if like if then normal open bracket and we'll capital i input then full stop or i'm just going to call that dot because i'm used to saying dot and then capital g get capital k key capital u up and we use the up instead of down because down they can hold it and if as long as that key's down it will spam the bullets at the opponent like I can't remember what it's called off of games, but spraying, yeah. So any of you who play Call of Duty and stuff, it's called spraying. So if you up oh, every time the key is pressed down and up again, then it will fire. So you can't obviously hold in that position. So then what you do is open another bracket, then put speech marks. And for the fire, I want the key. Um, I don't know. E, yeah, put on normally, close the sh speech marks, close the two brackets, press enter once, open up the squiggly brackets, press enter twice, and open, close the squiggly brackets, go up and press tab once, and sorry for all that, but yeah, just basically set it out like that, or something, um, just makes it even, because if you put all your text in one big line coming down here you'll not be able to understand it whereas this you can just pinpoint exactly where it is so yeah so once that's done so that's basically saying now function update is every frame like animations which i explained in later tutorial um, before tutorials and basically it's checking if um, the user presses an input button such as a key or a mouse if the key is going up and the key is e they'll perform the code inside the brackets like which you're gonna write now so uh, what we're gonna do is first create a variable if you type in var for, which means create new variable and we will call it bullet fire like so then we want that bullet fire variable bullet fire means 
instantiate, which basically means create three variables like that. Um, the first one is what object we want to spawn. So obviously we want to spawn our fireball, so we will call this create a new variable, call it fireball bullet, and we'll, we will create this variable at the top, so we'll call it var fireball bullet colon, and we'll call it transform, which basically means we can edit the transform of the variable, which is the position and stuff. So yeah, then we want to get the location where we want to spawn. So we want it to spawn in our bullet spawn point. So we will search. So game object. We want to find the game object. Dot find. So basically search for a game object. Open your bracket. Um, speech marks. Close your bracket so we know what it's like. Um, and we want to find our bullet underscore spawn point like so. Yep. And then the third one, well, no, actually, after that bracket, we want that transform, so change that's transform, and then change that that's position, like so. Yeah. And then the third one is what rotation we want it to spawn at. So we want it to face wherever the player is facing, so we will do qua ter neon, like so, and then dot identity. Identity. Yeah, so I'll just zoom out a bit. Yeah, I'll let you pause the video here if you need to follow or something. Click on the play, go to our character and drag the player fire on. So close some of these simply by closing the name so we've got more room. Drag the player fire on, and as you can see, we have our script first script. And under the fireball bullet, we have no transform. So if you drag your prefab on there, like so, we now have it. So if we click play and wait for it to load, we can walk about, press E and it spawns like so. You can't walk into it as well, you'll bounce straight off it. You can climb on it, I suppose if you like create loads, you could like climb up it or something. Yeah, so you can make like bit stairs of it. That's not what we want. We want it to fire forward. Yeah, so we want it to fire forward now. So this is simply done with our friend the rigid body. So we go back to our script, underneath the variable, go to the end, press enter, and then we type um, the name of our variable, which was bullet fire, call it bullet fire. Then we want to access in that bullet fire the rigid body of it. So we just put dot rigid body. Then we want to get the rigid body and add a force to it. So basically we push it forwards with a force, like the wind or something. And then open the bracket, and then we want to change the transform dot, and then we want to give it change it so it goes forward, and then time sign, and then we want the speed of the bullet. So I don't know, five hundred. Yeah. So close the bracket, semicolon, and then that's it. So I'll pause the vi pause the video again here, so you can see. If we go back, press E, boom, we have a moving bullet. As you can see, it will bounce off the wall and stay there. Like so. so you can like fire loads of bullets, they'll hit each other, bounce up. Or, like if we could jump on it, we could like climb up the wall or something. Yeah, so there we have a slow bullet. Obviously we want to speed it up. Like that. So if we go back, speed it up to something like 2000 and um, press E, boom, 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 boom. We have bullets which stick on the wall. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and please rate and stuff like that. Comment, subscribe. So, um, thanks for watching.